yesterday was my birthday, pole day, and I've had worse birthdays here at the Speedway. I've had one worse, actually, and that was in 2003. I'd fallen off a motorcycle, broken my back. Uh, I wanted to go back to the, the Europe to watch the uh, UEFA Cup final because Glasgow Celtic were playing. I wasn't allowed to go. I was lying on the floor of my bus with the busted back, watching the race, feeling very sorry for myself. That, that was a worse birthday than yesterday. Just. It was pretty painful. It was really pretty painful. Um, no matter what we tried, that was the speed we had in the, in the car. Um, and it's not, uh, it's not good enough, quite honestly. It's, uh, everybody in this team works so hard and we just, uh, you know, both in, in the car, the engine side of things, I think we got left behind a little bit. And uh, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, and there's really not much else to say on it. You know, there's these cars right now, there's only so much you can take off drag-wise. Um, it's an unfortunate part. If we had another couple hundred horsepower, we wouldn't have that issue, but there's only so much we can take off. And so we uh, uh, we took off all the efficient things with the lift over drag numbers, or the downforce over drag numbers is supposed to be. And then we got really creative. Um, we maxed the rear wing out to minus 10, which in, in my book is uh, becomes an airplane wing at that point, because it's actually working the, the opposite. But uh, then the, the, the underfloor, there's the sides, the underfloor that we're allowed to take off, and you're pretty much dropping 250 pounds of downforce a side for, uh, I don't know, five pounds of drag benefit or something ridiculous. And Dixie and I qualified with one of those off each. Uh, Dixon actually tried to practice with two off, and that didn't work so well. Uh, but uh, nobody ever said we were smart, but we, we, gave it, we really gave it our all. And uh, yeah, we will hopefully the the engine that, that Honda bring for the, the race is going to be better and uh, we've all done a, a better job with setting the car up for the race and we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try and get some sleep. I haven't slept very well this, this last week at all. I've probably got 10 hours sleep um, the whole week. got five last night, so I'm up to 15 now for a whole week, which anybody that knows me knows that I like uh, eight hours a night at minimum. So that's I'm going to get some sleep. got to go to Washington DC tomorrow and do some PR stuff. Uh, community day here, um, all while that's going on, getting rested up for the race, getting hydrated, talking to my engineers, talking to the team and just seeing where we can uh, make those little bit of differences and try and, and put ourselves in the best position for uh, for the race. I have been in a bubble my, the whole week really and just really tried to keep my head focused and there's only so long you can do that and you need to get away so uh, tonight I'm going to start, going to head out with uh, Rubens and TK for dinner so that'll be a comedy hour I'm sure. And, um, you know, Ashley's been here the last couple of days and she's been doing her best to kind of just make things fun and she's, you know, getting, organizing things for my birthday and all that. So, uh, but no, next week is going to be busy. Target are really great for all kinds of reasons, but they don't put a lot of pressure on us to do things out with the car in the month of May. And that, that, that's much really appreciated because it allows us to really focus on doing the job as the, the best we can on the track. Yeah, the guys from Sim Race were coming out, um, so I'm going to catch up with them at some point in the days leading up to the race. Um, that'll be fun. It's always good to, to catch up with the guys, find out what the updates are and what, you know how everything's going. Um, plus, I've got my, my buddies from Scotland coming uh, en masse. They, they come every year, and uh, they're generally the entertainment, so looking forward to seeing them and seeing all the Sim Raceway folks. And uh, yeah, that's the, the light-hearted side of things away from the, from the racetrack.